Ethan and Noah Atagi have been regulars at Weber State football games long before they were battling in the trenches for the Wildcats. We'd be playing like uh, two hand touch or tackle football in the like was that the south end, right behind the south end zone? Back then, I didn't understand what homecoming week was, but like they lit off fireworks at, at, at the end of the game, so I was like, "This is awesome!" I'm like, I just get to go play football with a bunch of buddies and watch fireworks after. Little did the two know they would eventually play for Weber after Noah convinced his older brother to transfer from BYU in 2021. My coach called me up and he said, "Hey, like this is the situation with a few of our O linemen right now. They they want to move on with life because COVID was just kind of a crazy time." And so uh, he, he said, like, would, you brother, would your brother ever be interested in, like, transferring up here? And I was like, give me a phone call. Like, let me get a phone call really quick. And so I called him. I was like, dude, like, I don't really care your opinion. Like, we've always wanted this. And from that point on, the Atagis have accomplished their goal of playing college football together for a team that's deeply rooted in their family's history. Their dad and grandpa played football for the Cats, along with their mom, grandma, brother, sister-in-laws, you name it are all graduates from the university as well. It's been a dream come true. I mean, we, we did it a lot growing up because we were only one grade apart. So we played here at Bonneville High School, South Junior High. It's just been special to be able to continue that. Throughout the last two years, they've reminisced on where it all started. <laughs> when we first started playing, we had to like bring our pads home. And I'll let Noah tell his side of the story too. But, but I remember when Noah first started playing and he had to bring his pads home and I had to bring my pads home. And I basically just beat him up for an hour in our backyard. Our dad was always like, okay, you're gonna learn how to hit tonight and you're gonna bring your pads home and you're just gonna go against your other brother. And so my dad had a rule that like, Ethan couldn't like Ethan couldn't take it easy on me or Ethan would get in trouble. Cause like, it was just like, you wanna get each other better. <laughs> As a dad, you, you want them to be successful. So you come up with all these ideas. Wilson, who's the oldest, he got the same treatment by the older kids of our buddies that my buddies that played at Weber, right? They, their older kids showed them how to play football. And so we just passed it along. They've also taken what was passed along and turned it into a pair of all big sky players while making some memories along the way. I'll have pictures pop up on my, on my phone that just bring back good memories already where it's pictures of me and my whole family after the games or me and Noah on the field together lined up together or me helping him up off the ground when he lost his contact against Eastern Washington. We end up scoring but I got hit in the eye so my contact falls out. And so I'm like on the ground trying to find my contact because I want to see you for the rest of the game. And everyone's yelling at me, no, like, get up, get up. I was like, dude, I'm not hurt. I'm trying to find my contact because, you know, I, I got to find it. And so I eventually found it. There's like so many memories I could say are my favorite memories of the evening. But like one specifically is uh, we're playing Northern Arizona. I had been bothering our OC and our uh, quarterback assistant coach for a long time to get me the ball just for no reason <laughs> and we're sitting in the huddle and the quarterback comes in he's like he's just yelling hey like 26 force Laker I was like no way <laughs> no, there's no way <laughs> and so I was like dude let's do it and so and like I said this is a break like a breakout run and I'm like I'm really nervous I was like okay I, I've been begging for this forever and so we get down the line and um, we run the play, they pitch it, I score, and like I was just like, it worked. <laughs> and so, and then Ethan's celebration with like our running backs and wideouts when they score is, they jump and he lifts them up and everything like that. So I was like, dude, if we do this, we gotta do that celebration. And so he lifted me up, but then obviously I come down harder than some of the smaller guys, <laughs> and you know he fell on the ground. But it, like, it's just a, it's just a great story to tell. Most importantly, they've gathered stories to tell about a football program that means much more than just. A team. I feel like it's become family um, just because uh, like my older brother graduated from here my both my parents graduated from here so it's been always a family thing I mean I would say everything uh, I mean my, my parents both graduated from here um, we're, we're all graduating my, my, me and my older brothers were graduating from here my wife she's actually graduated graduated from here Weber State will always be uh, a part of our hearts and, and lives. We will always be around. We, me and my wife still live very close, so we will always be around. And I'm sure wherever the boys land, that they'll come back and we'll go to football games, we'll go to homecoming and all those things and cheer on the Wildcats. Since the boys started football, this is 18 straight years of football. You know, that's 
a long time for us playing football, them watching it, those each other pummel each other as they say or you know working out to get there and I think it's been a great fantastic ride. The dynamic duo takes the field one last time at Stewart Stadium today at 1 p.m. Mountain Time against Idaho.